coming up, we introduce you to a Sioux Falls resident digging out from the early season snow. And if you've been thinking about adopting a pet, October is a good time to do it. We'll explain straight ahead. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A 44-year-old Brandon man has died in a weekend crash in Sioux Falls. Police say a passerby discovered an SUV had rolled into the ditch in the area of Producer Lane and Sycamore Avenue in northeast Sioux Falls Saturday morning. First responders found the man dead inside the vehicle. The crash is under investigation. Authorities are also investigating a deadly crash on Interstate 90 in western Kelloland. The Highway Patrol says a 24-year-old woman died Saturday morning when her car left the interstate west of Whitewood, went into a ditch, and then hit a tree. The woman died at the scene. One person is dead and another injured after a one-vehicle crash in Jones County Saturday afternoon. A pickup was heading west on I-90 east of Murdo when it went into a ditch and rolled. Both people in the car were wearing seatbelts. A 31-year-old man later died of his injuries. A 34-year-old woman was taken to a hospital with, in Pierre with serious non-life-threatening injuries. South Dakota's Highway Patrol is investigating the crash. We spoke with Sioux Falls residents who were clearing snow from their properties Sunday afternoon. One resident used a leaf blower to move the snow Sunday morning because it was so light. However, another person, Rich Peterson, had his snow blower out yesterday afternoon. This morning it, could, it just blew everywhere. But uh, now that it's wet, you saw how hard it was to get just to the end of the driveway here. And so um, I still remember 91 when we got all that Halloween snow and <laughs> that, was, that was bad. And so um, I like snow. I like to get out and, and the blow, blow snow and do stuff. But a lot of people don't like to get out. <laughs> And this is a look at the snowy conditions in Yankton over the weekend. A viewer sent us this video of the falling snow. If you have any pictures or video of the weather in your area, we would like to see them. You can send them to you, share at Kelloland.com. And now let's get a check of our current conditions with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. Well, good morning, you too. Good morning, Kelloland. The left right behind is the cold air. Temperatures this morning, single digits in teens and afternoon highs won't fare much better. Expect the afternoon highs in the teens and 20s. It'll feel more like January today, but numbers will warm as we do go through the week. Here's the outline. Record-setting temperatures for today for coldest afternoon highs and for tonight into tomorrow morning for coldest lows. And then we do have warmer temperatures with 50s returning for many by Halloween. More details on the Kettle Lane Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. Well, now is a good time to adopt from the Sioux Falls Area Humane Society. The adoption fee is just $5 minimum for a cat through the rest of this month. We have to have room for incoming cats, and um, it's important to find the cats home so that they don't have to stay here very long. But that's not the only reason to adopt now. Schulte Subaru will donate $100 to the Humane Society for every animal adopted through the month. South Dakota is getting ready to dip its toe into the hemp field. Earlier this year, the legislature voted to legalize hemp with no more than 0.3% THC, the ingredient that can get people high. The U.S. Department of Agriculture approved South Dakota's industrial hemp plan 10 days ago. Now a state rules hearing is set for November 13th. Kettleland's Capital Bureau reporter Bob Mercer spoke with state lawmaker Troy Heinert about hemp's future in South Dakota. Well, I think it's a viable product. Uh, I think uh, we have some people who are very interested in it. Uh, we've seen the need for both uh, CBD and industrial hemp. So I, I think uh, we've, we've heard testimony from manufacturers who are excited about uh, manufacturing this product. Uh, so I think it's a it's win-win a, a situation for South Dakota. Heinert was an original sponsor of bills in the legislature attempting to legalize hemp starting back in 2016. Make sure and check out this full, full report from Kelloland Capital News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer up on our website right now. One week from Tuesday, voters will head to the polls to elect our next president. Who is going to win, President Trump or former Vice President Joe Biden? We asked in our Kelloland Media Group Argus Leader Scientific Poll, if the election were held today, who would you vote for? 51% said Trump, 40% said Biden, and 6% are still undecided. As far as the ballot measures are concerned, Constitutional Amendment A would legalize recreational marijuana. We asked if the election were held today, would you vote yes or no? 51% said they would vote for recreational marijuana, while 44% said no. 5% are still undecided. 
Initiated Measure 26 would legalize medical marijuana. According to our scientific poll, 74% said they would vote yes, while 23% said no. 3% are still undecided. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the date minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now let's get one last look at our weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right, weather. Well, it starts cold this week, but good news is coming around the corner. We've got significantly warmer air probably arriving by the weekend. Until then, it's going to be just kind of a slow moderation here. But as we kick off the month of November, all this orange and yellow on the map signals above normal readings. And it looks like that's kind of where we're going to sit for a while as we get into the first few days of the month. So good news there. Also, as you look at this, I wanted to fit in just for fun the 8 to 14 day outlook. So that really gives you a flavor of November weather and much above normal. That's the coloring here across much of Kettle Land and extending all the way into the Intermountain West. So that's a good signal of things to come here. But today, we are cold. 24 Sioux Falls for high. Same thing in here on a Mitchell, 21 in Rapid City. Could we set record lows tonight? I think that's a distinct possibility. Uh, cloud cover plays a little role in that and also any wind. But at this point in time, we're going to govern lows here somewhere between about, I'll say, 0 and 10 above. That'll cover most of it. Tomorrow, temperature 36 Sioux Falls. So a little warmer, a little more melting. So you'll see more of the slush out there. And then a little warmer on Wednesday. Back in the 40s, you'll see more leaves in the lawn and 50s by the weekend and everything's going to be drying out. No mention of precipitation in the seven day forecast. Aberdeen is also back into the upper 40s by Friday. A little slower return to warmer weather, but we'll get there. We got to melt a little more snow in some of these areas of central South Dakota and that tends to restrict the warming process a bit. But by the end of the forecast, upper 50s, and it looks like Rapid City could be headed for the 60s as early as Friday. Check out our latest Storm Center update. That's posted right now here at Kettleland.com. That's your weather. Have a great Monday.